All right, what's going on boys and girls? I wanted to talk about Linux on a Microsoft Surface Pro. Is it plausible? Well, here's the thing. About two weeks now, I have been running Ubuntu 16.04 on a Microsoft Surface Pro 2 with Unity and Manicore as my desktops. For those that don't believe me, this is your proof in the pudding, okay? This machine is recording with OBS Oh, hey, look, there's, uh, you know, the Ubuntu overlay for Unity. So before anyone says it's not legit, it is. Basically, all you have to do is get into the BIOS for, on the Surface Pro 2. I can only speak up to the Pro 2. And disable TPM or Trusted Platform module, and you have to disable Secure Boot. And that's generically achieved by going in through Windows... Uh, and these models, it's usually Windows 8, 8 1. Telling it to reboot from the bio, you know, to get into the BIOS or UFEI, UEFI. Once you do that, it'll drop you into it. The other way to do it, I believe, it is power and up or power and down for three seconds. And then once the Windows uh, Microsoft thing pops up, just let go of both of them and it'll take you into the BIOS. Generically, the only problem is when you're trying to boot from a live USB and you tell it to boot from the USB device, sometimes you will have to go into the uh, BIOS and just exit out of it essentially and it'll feed right back through into the boot process into the uh, USB, live USB environment. Um, Linux on this has actually been pretty good. Uh, barring the scaling because of the, the condensed 10.6 inch screen um, at 1920 by 1080 is a little... Things that aren't quite right, things are a little smaller than I like, but the scaling, once you mess around with the scaling a little bit, things are a lot better than they are. Um, certain things still, you know, Steam and a few other applications aren't the best at it. But for me, this is well, like, I, again, I spent $300 on this, and if you wanted a portable Linux system that is like, like the Surface line, you know, that just compact, drop, go, not a laptop, and any of that kind of stuff, this is a really good machine to get. Um, you know, you can talk about Microsoft all you want. You're not really supporting them. A, I bought this secondhand. B, if you knew, can pave it. So it depends on how you want to look at it. For me, I get about four, four and a half hours of battery life out of this particular machine. Uh, and that's running the machine. Um, you can do all the typical, you know, TLP and, you know, bring down the power and turn off like the Bluetooth modules and do a bunch of other stuff to save more power. Um, so you're, I would say between four to five hours is realistic. Um, that's just my experience. Could be different. So you want the ultimate Linux machine. This is an i5, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD on it. I got the docking station and I spent 300 bucks on it. This is a hell of a Linux machine. Um, and so for me, it's definitely worth the buy. Definitely worth putting Linux on it because if you're stuck with Windows 8 and you can't get Windows 10, Windows 8 or 8.1 on this is... I got tired of getting the pimp and the bitch slap every time I had to change something. <laughs> so sticking Linux on here where it's a little more cohesive is great. So that's just my take. Linux plus Microsoft Surface Pro equals... Awesome.